Everybody, happy Sunday. Listen, I want to talk about getting results in your business to go after your goals. I see so often people have big goals and that's great, have big dreams, but then what they do is they literally make choices that set themselves up for massive failure and disappointment out of their pride and ego. Meaning they have a goal, they have a desire to do something and so they go and they do the hardest thing possible that requires a lot of work, a lot of planning, that requires a lot of market recognition to be effective. That way they feel good about what their activities are and then complain that they're not getting results. They're not getting sales. They're not getting what they want because they're allowing their pride and ego and feel good activities to dictate what they're going to do instead of getting results. And often I see this, I talk to people, they're like, well, I could do this, this, and this. And this one that would get results the fastest, they are actually choosing to do that one last. And they're choosing to do the two things that will probably not get results the fastest and are the hardest work up front just to make themselves feel good that they've done the work and paid the dues instead of going out there getting results quick. And this is, this is not helping anybody. Listen, if you have a goal and you have something that you want to do and you want to work towards, build up to it. When you start, you need to humble yourself and maybe do some things that you don't want to do, quote unquote, that will help you stair step and stack yourself to that next level. That will help bring in cash flow to advertise what you're wanting to do. That will help you hire staff. And this is the, one of the biggest areas that I see people saying, they're like, well, we have this big goal, so we have to do all of this, even though we've never done anything here, 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 or here, and then complain that they're failing by doing that big thing. And complain and say, I'm just not cut out for it, or success is not cut out for me, because their pride and ego is what they're doing. They're ego building their business to pacify this need for validation inside of themselves that I did something. And then when it fails, it va validates that they can't be successful. And this is a repeated pattern that I see in so many people is they choose to do the things that are not going to get results first because it's what they want to do and are choosing to let their pride and ego lead their actions instead of focusing on how can I get results the fastest speed, efficiency, and acceleration are far more important than being perfect when it comes to business, when it comes to building and reaching your goals, especially in business. This is where I see so often people do this and then they complain, well, why is it not working? And they come up with a thousand and one reasons why the simple thing that would get results isn't what they need to do. And then they, they complain and say, why is it not working? Well, it's because you chose to not do what would get results out of your ego saying, I'm too good for that. And then you chose to do the five things that are probably not going to get results unless you built up to that level to say, well, at least I did this. And it's, it's a cycle that leads directly to nearly guaranteed destruction. And I see people do it constantly. I would say 90% of people that I work with do this pattern. They choose to not do what gets results for the sake of doing what they feel like they did. That's hard work because that's what they wanted to do. And, and then they're constantly in emergency mode of, well, it didn't work, well, it doesn't work. And it's because you didn't do the basics. It's because you didn't start at that beginning stage level. You didn't humble yourself to the point to say, well, first we need to set ourselves up for success. We need to bring some cash flow in. We need to get results. No, 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 Because it feels good to do all this work that doesn't amount to anything so that you can A, complain and blame why it's not working on outside circumstances. B, say, hey, at least I did all that. So if it doesn't work out, at least I got a gold star for doing that. And we're constantly doing work based on what validates us rather than what actually gets results. If this is you, you need to stop doing that. You need to start 
being consistent, being disciplined to do what gets results first, even if you don't want to do it. Even if you're like, well, I have this big goal, so why would I do this over here? Because that's what's going to build up to that goal. Nobody ever got here unless they were lucky by just going straight there without any learning, without any growth, without any training, without any process, without respecting the process. Don't think that you're so special that you'll suddenly do that and yet nobody else on the planet has ever done that. Choose to do what gets results first, even if it's not what you want to do. And then build up to that big goal to do whatever you want over time. Build your experiences and your work upon each other, and it will actually allow you to reach that goal faster. That's the other excuse. Oh, well, I'm going to go after the big goal now because it's going to be faster to do that. No, you're going to build all this, and then you're going to realize that it's not going to work, and then you have to circle back around and take twice as long to do the basics to get results, and it, it's this self defeating cycle of not trusting yourself, not believing that that's what's going to work and deciding that you're going to choose to do what makes you feel good over what gets results. Got to stop it. What's the basics? What are the basics to start with? Start there and then build upon that. Anybody that I've ever seen in business that tries to skip the basics ends up being burnt out, stressed out, disappointed, worried, and then has to circle back around and humble themselves to do the basics. Wouldn't it be a lot easier if you just started and did the basics and got results first instead of having to learn the hard way? And yet, the cycle continues constantly, constantly. Well, I'm going to do this big thing over here because it makes me feel good because that's my, my big goal. But I'm going to neglect the very thing that's going to get me there because I, I, I don't think I need to do that. I don't think I need to start there. I'm too good for that. Or, or that's not what I really want to do. So I'm going to go here. And all it does is it, it, it builds your ego. It temporarily makes you feel good. Temporarily makes you feel like you're doing something. And only leads to a brick wall of disappointment. Start with the basics. Start to do what gets results. The basic level. Become a master at the basics. Crush it at the basics. Absolutely just kill it and build over time. That's how you did anything else in your life. Why do you think that business is any different? Well, it's because we see these big stories, these overnight successes. You know, every overnight success started with somebody doing the basics and following a process. That's what you need to do. That's what all of us need to do. Start with the basics. Stop pretending and deceiving yourself that you're not like everybody else. And so you don't have to start there. Master the basics, crush it, and then go after your goals and do whatever you want. Dream big, go after those big goals, but be consistent with the basics. Be consistent with what gets results. And that will help you reach those big goals far faster than Anything else will. Grow your life, everybody, and we'll talk soon.